Hello, everyone, and welcome to week two, the HRL Mega Mix series. And this series, if you haven't been paying attention, is all over the place. We started off with Hogtona, and we go to a, another classic uh, mixed with another track later in the night as well. But yeah, another HRL classic, uh, but another different version of it. This is Eagle River 23 on Reach. This one is inspired by the OG Eagle River that we're still working on. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on it when we could get that 360 working. Um, getting the files up for that and, and seeing like what it actually looked like and everything. But this one's a, uh, a reimagining. It's, it's trying to be a hard remake of it, but it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, but trying to get as close to that original, uh, as possible that we've had since, uh, since racing that one or since the Halo 4 one, probably that one was probably closer. Um, so yeah, a lot of people probably aren't familiar with it, but yeah, this is literally the track, um, super quick, super short go-kart track, um, a trail classic here race pretty much like every year that we race try to work in eagle river at some point and it's the starting race for the hrl uh mega mix reach gp night so we're gonna have rolled oak gp a new track made by detail specifically for this later in the night um but yeah kicking off with with eagle river okay so we had some heats to line up the field as per usual detail and luke taking the wins in those heats and going to be lining up on the front row right to left is detailed in Luke, and then we have Fireball and Opix, and then Slaunch and Hunter, and Soul and Soar back for this week, and then Matt and Real Deal. Matt, the original track creator, coming in to to uh, to race this one. Okay, so this race is going to be super cracked. I'll try to follow it the best that I can. Uh, it's going to be 70 laps, and the ch final checkpoint for the leader will be uh, 141. So yeah, it's uh it's gonna be a doozy, but the laps are pretty quick on this track that you uh, you'll see that pretty quickly. All right, so we get the lineup set. All right, so everybody's rolling, and we're green at Eagle River, second week of the HRL Mega Mix series. Fireball with a dive to the inside, trying to look to the lead early on. Very tight on the first lap, as you can expect, but pretty clean relatively. I mean, there's obviously some contact, but that's this track. I'd say that was a pretty clean first lap, uh, all things considered. A little bit of wall action on, we'll call that the back stretch. Looks like Hunter and Soar, Soar and Fireball have really similar colors. Um, the looks of their Spartans, I'm sure, are different, but, you know, obviously, looking from the top, it's probably going to be a little harder to distinguish. Um, but Fireball right now is running in second. Luke trying to fight for that in third. Soar is around the, uh, like, eighth place whereabouts, so... Try to tell the difference between them there. Slaunch moving up to... Looks like past Opix there, which is for... Oh! Opix returning. We have a good battle here. Two good battles, actually. For pretty high up positions. Second and third. Oh, Slaunch getting some wall action. Opix and Slaunch battling really close. Real deal coming into the picture now. Soul trying to get involved, too. And there's going to be some contact like that. Like, this this track... Um, you know, it's, it's just the way it is with how tight this track is and how hard it is to make passes, like, even when people make mistakes. Um, there's going to be a little bit of contact on most of these moves, not, like, maliciously, but there's just, there's not a whole lot you could do. It gets super tight, and that's just part of the, part of the appeal and part of the charm of this track. It's one of the more brutal ones. Um, it may not seem that way, because, you know, you look at it, it's a really quick, like, 12 to 13 second lap time, and... You know, super small track, really fast lap time. The only time you're really slowing down is on this back half. You may do a bit of a slowdown in the chicane. Obviously, in that hairpin, you do a bit of a slowdown. But for a lot of it, you're pretty all out or, like, close to all out. Um, not quite max speed on the gooses, but you're uh, trying to go as fast as possible. And the corners are really difficult. Like, getting... Getting the first turn, the first turn is kind of underrated. Like, you can actually gain a little more time there than I think people consider. Um, and then the whole back half of the track, the chicane through the uh, the hairpin, is actually very, very brutal, very punishing, but also very rewarding if you hit it properly. And again, I think it's kind of underrated, um, the, the gap on this track and the difficulty. Because you're, the, the section right here is so difficult to hit correctly, and so difficult to hit cleanly yourself, and then if you're battling with anybody, it's even harder. And you're doing that lap after lap. Everybody has to do it 70 times. You know, if there's a hard chicane um, on one of our other GP tracks, and the track's like a long track, say it's like 20 lap race, 
you're only hitting that chicane 20 times. Well, on here, on Eagle River, you have this really tricky section, the chicane into the into the final hairpin. You have to hit it 70 times very quickly, too. You don't have a whole lot of time to reset uh, because of how short the lap is. You're just constantly being thrown into that really difficult final sector, lap after lap after lap. And even though it's a normal length race, um, it makes things... It makes it feel like an endurance race. I don't remember who mentioned it during the race, but it absolutely makes things feel like an endurance race. So that, that's part of the reason why this is an HRL Classic. Um, it's just a... It's a brutal test on the, on, the, on the drivers. Like, everybody throughout the pack gets tested uh, on this track. There's just no way around it. Everybody that finishes the race... Um, should be uh, should be commended for it here because it is not easy to do on this track. You see Fireball back out of it. Him and Luke battling really hard. Um, Fireball making a decision right there, and that's the decision you have to make sometimes when you're on that inside. Sometimes if you're not close enough on the inside of any of these turns, honestly, it may be wise to actually do a bit of a let off. See, they're battling really hard right there, and I think the the point of it is it's it's really difficult. Um, Luke and Fireball battling right here. It's really difficult to like shake the driver off your tail. Like they they uh they've been kind of going back and forth on that when they pass each other, and like once you make the pass on this track, it's not over. It's it's very hard to hold on to that because um even though making a pass is difficult, like making your presence known and like staying involved is really easy to keep going on here. Opic's having a really good run of it so far. Um, we're not having too much lap down cheese so far. But yeah, Opic's having a really good, really good run so far. This is him in fourth, trying to chase down Fireball. Checkpoint reached. Trying to get a nice reach GP finish for him in the season. And it'll that's the interesting part about this Mega Mix series is that obviously, you know, the skills that are tested uh across all these different all these different series, all these different track types, classifications of racing, um, it's not gonna be the same, right? It's not gonna be the same. Not everybody everybody's gonna be a, a little bit ranked a little bit differently um depending on the week and i think we're gonna have some of the most like constant shakeups uh in the points week after week in this series because of that and i think it's gonna make it really fun to watch that being said going against my argument the top three right now um Detail Luke and Fireball, which Luke and Fireball were... Well, when Fireball ran the first moto at Hogtona, he was running up front a decent amount, and he did get a podium there. Um, and it was him and Luke battling for that. But Detail entering the fray here, he wasn't um, at the front too much in Hogtona. It wasn't the best week for him, but he's coming in strong here in week two and has led the entire race down so far. Uh, Going to be coming to about like 20 late, uh, 28 laps in here. And he's led them all so far, so... Trying to rebound. I'm sure the Hawktona start wasn't what he wanted. Trying to rebound. Get right back into it. And that's not Fireball past Luke. That's Soar. That detail just put a lap down. That Luke's trying to put a lap down. Fireball's still right there. Still with Opix very close behind. And Slaunch lurking in fifth. Trying to work his way back up there. Real deal Soul. And then there. Look at that. Detail's already back around. Like I was just watching. <laughs> I was just watching. The battles, I was just watching the drivers getting an update on the field, and then they're already back. Like, this track is, <laughs> this track's brutal. Again, it's one of those things, like, you watch the video, watch the replay, it may not seem that way, but this is, I genuinely think this is one of the uh, harder tracks to, like, stay focused on throughout the whole season, for sure. Detail's got a decent gap for the lead, but Luke not too far behind, so I don't think this race is over by any means. And the thing that I like about this classic version of Eagle River, and, you know, this is the case on the H5 Eagle River, depending on uh, how big the lobby was, which that track, for whatever reason, we tended to get pretty big lobbies on H5 Eagle River. Uh, Eagle River. Um, depending on the version of Eagle River, depending on the lobby size, like, the Lapper Cheese could get pretty intense. Um, but what I like about this original version is it's easily the most intense. Like the lapper, the lapper action is aggressive um, on this version, and and you really do, no matter how checked out the leader gets, you really do never know when the race is over, um, because or like when the positions are locked in. Because with that lap traffic, uh, there could be like a surprise waiting around every corner in a pack like this right here developing to bring people, like, have an accordion effect, bring people back into the fight. So 
That's something that I really like about this version. Obviously, that blue flag lap traffic isn't a huge deal on most of these tracks. You know, maybe a couple people go a lap down during a race, uh, but in this one, multiple people will go a lap down, and some people will probably go a lap down, like multiple laps down. Um, and it's something to be ashamed of. Like it is, <laughs> it's a 12 second lap time. It's a brutal track like this. Like that's just how it's gonna work out. Um, and you know, especially if we like, we have the 10 or er, oh yeah, Kambi's not racing in this first one. Uh, 10 driver field for this race, 12 driver field for the next race. Uh, a couple people sleeping in, I suppose, <laughs> getting up, getting up late. Uh, it it kind of worked out for this track because this this track with uh, Hogtona Lobby would have been it would have been interesting. It would have been interesting to watch. Definitely would have been interesting to watch. I think I think ten is a good it's it's a good fair count for Eagle River, where you get some good battle action, but it's not too cheese. We still get some good racing, and that's what we've seen so far. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get an update on the field positions this time by, and they're gonna rip by so quickly. So detail, Luke. These guys are a lap down. That's Fireball, I think. Not sore. Eh, it might not be. I think Fireball. Nope, Fireball fell back. That's Fireball. So update. However, this happened. Slaunch has now moved into third, and it's gonna get pretty spicy for this podium position actually, because right here, Slaunch, Fireball, uh, real deal. That is your three, four, five battle, and then Opix in sixth is really not that far behind either. Um, and then what makes it interesting too is Details catching that pack. Details catching that pack. So. Um, if they pack together and start battling, and then the leader gets there and has to work around that, that could maybe bring some of those other drivers that got a lap down already back into the battle there too, um, and maybe spice things up for the lead as well. So, we've got some uh, interesting stuff cooking up for the end of this race, that's for sure. I think Slaunch had to do a bit of a let off trying to get around, uh, trying to lap Hunter here, and this is gonna spice it up, a little bit of contact, here we go, the podium battle is on. Oh yeah. Two by two for a moment there on Eagle River. Don't see that every day. Slaunch going for those let offs. It, it is pretty difficult. And look at how he just shoots out of it. And that's that's a strategy. That's a strategy. I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I think he's just trying to um, not bog. But if you have people behind you and you don't feel confident, ah, oh, that sucks. Um, don't feel confident to make that inside. And, and it is pretty hard to make that inside without bogging with somebody on your outside. Oh, and here's the lead battle too. Uh, you can go for a let off and then it'll probably slow down the person behind you more and you'll just shoot out like a rocket So it's a legit strategy to do there. I don't think we'll see many people do it But I think it um, by circumstance kind of worked out with Slaunch there And maybe helped him out a little bit fireballs got a, a decent gap behind him now And you see detail just trucking through and Opix trying to get back involved with his position battle Luke trying to get behind or uh, ahead of both of these guys it's exactly what I was saying. Like, it might bring some of these guys back into the battle. And you're seeing that with Soul. Look at Soul. He's catching up to Opix now. And it, it did it, it did what I what I called for the lead battle as well. It brought Detail and Luke a bit closer on track, but now that's separated again. Detail definitely sliced through the lap traffic a bit quicker. But it's not over. The lead battle's still on. Real Dill gets lapped by Detail. I think the podium battle is still on. Slaunch and Fireball are still close, and then if they get caught by Detail, which could happen, it's it's maybe looking that way. We're running out of time, but that, that could maybe happen. That will spice that up even more, too. And just look at how closely packed most of the most of the field is. Yeah, this race is definitely not over. These packs are going to catch each other, and we're going to get some spice. This race is certainly not over. Again, that's what I that's what I love about this version of Eagle River. I think it'd be very rare for us to see a race on this track, um, and for it to just be a runaway. It, it, like I said, you could there's a gap on it for sure. There is absolutely um, a pretty decent skill gap on this track actually, and you can certainly make up some time. But but man, is it hard to like actually build a lead and hold it with just all the things that you have to deal with? It is very difficult to do. And Details doing a very good job of it so far in this race. As far as I'm aware, has led the whole way down. Uh, still. That was close. Soul, getting into it with, uh, with Soar there, I want to say. I think Fireball's still chasing Slaunch. Oh yeah, this is getting spicy. This is right in front of Podium Battle. Here comes Slaunch. A little bit of wall contact. 
And Detail's trying to get around Fireball. Oh yeah, this is getting weird. Slaunch trying to make his way through the lap traffic quickly here. This would be a huge advantage for him. Oh! Tries to play it safe with a bit of a let off. A little bit of wall contact does a good job holding on. Fireball gains a bit off that, but he's still got a nice gap. But he has to get behind, or has, has to get ahead of those guys again. Opix trying to blue flag and battle at the same time. It's such a difficult thing to do. And here comes Luke coming in hot because he sees that opportunity. Trying to get back to the lead. I don't think the lead or the podium battle are done quite yet. Slaunch and Fireball right on each other. And the, the first two spots not too far away either. And closing in on 3-4. What a, what a weird situation. What a weird situation we find ourselves in here as detail is approaching, I think, six to go. So not that much time left. And this, this six to go is going to go by in the blink of an eye, just like barely over a minute. So we're right at the end of the race here. Win and all these points on the line in these last handful of laps. And this is where it might get spicy. Slaunch trying to get around Soul. Detail trying to get around Fireball. Hunter's in there now, too. Oh, Fireball trying to take advantage. A little bit of contact. Oh, there goes Luke for the lead. Maybe not quite yet. Top three battle and lead battle are totally on. Oh, the contact. I don't want to get film cheese, so we'll have to take a replay at the end after the race is concluded, but that's huge for Slaunch. He's going to lose the podium spot there, maybe for the race. And I believe we're coming to two to go. Oh, there's the move maybe for the lead. Two to go. And the lead battle's on. Here comes the lap traffic. And Fireball trying to hold on to his third. I don't even know who he's competing with for it at this point. I think he's kind of maybe got it. Oh, it's spicing up. Here comes Real Deal out of nowhere. A lap down, but he, he is fighting for positions. White flag last time around. The bogs, the battles in the middle of the blue flag for the win. And all these positions on different laps. Here we go through the chicane. Oh, and Hunter, the inside wall. Detail goes around the outside. And it's going to get him the win at the line. Luke's second. And everybody else still has to go around another lap. They lapped him the whole way. So that means it's going to be Fireball in third right there. Or maybe right there. <laughs> it's real deal made up some positions at the end there too. Wow. Wow, that was a, yeah, the type of ending situation that you're just not going to see on any other track, really. Um, and yeah, this is why Eagle River is a classic and we keep returning to it. Um, absolutely crazy first race, for sure. Going through the lineup, um, after watching that, we'll get a look at that replay as well in a moment. It's going to be Detail holding on for the win. Led the whole way down and it got a little dicey at the end, but... Did a good job staying calm and taking it there. Luke taking second with the late race contest fireball. Dicing around the field, um, but just, you know, hanging around that podium position like the whole race. Going up, going down, going up, going down, and then takes it in the end. And real deal, I want to say with a good comeback, it kind of seemed, uh, with the fourth place. Slaunch still taking a top five to start off his season, of course, wasn't at Hogtona. Um, so that'll be his season kicker there. Uh... Sixth place, Soar. There's solid finish for another one of our rookie drivers. Seventh place, Soul. Eighth place, Opix. Lost at the end. Really good run that race, though, for sure. Um, early on, Hunter, ninth. And Matt running up the field in tenth here, this first race at Eagle River. All right, let's see if we can not get cheesed. This is this is close. I mean, oh, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, but, oh, uh, okay, that's perfect. Uh, let's just stay on board with Slaunch and watch for a lap or two. We're going to fast forward a bit here uh, because this is a crucial moment in the race. We're going to take a look at this uh, late race incident with Slaunch, which was obviously huge for the podium position. And then we'll take a look at how the lead battle diced up at the end too because that was also crazy. So Slaunch working through lap traffic, and the next lap traffic is Hunter, and... Oh, man. Just check the time, so... 
Okay, perfect. Uh, so it's this next lap down. So Slaunch working his way through lap traffic, and this is just super unfortunate. He's just lining up his normal line through the chicane, just trying to run it how he normally runs it. And you can see he's lined up very well. Look at that. This is how you do it. This is some Monaco action here. Look at that. Brushing it. Brushing it. No contact. Moving the wall, potentially. Lining it up nice and perfect for the chicane. Getting turned at the at a great time, too. But the problem is, is Hunter is there. <laughs> and Hunter hits the wall in front of him. And that's one of those things you just got to trust the driver in front of you. And in this, in Slaunch did. And in this case, it didn't work out. Pops a wheelie. And the, the reach wheelies are brutal, too. I'm sure he's laying on the gas to try to get recovered. It just, just unfortunately, in that perfect wheelie position. And then, yeah, there he makes the adjustment. Gets down. But just, ah, oh, the... The, the reach walls are brutal, too. Like, if it was a different, one of the different halos, a lot of them, he would have just been able to get out of the wall, keep going, but Reacher just stuck in it for a little bit longer, and that's where, that's where Real Deal, oh, the recovery, too. That's where Real Deal takes that position. <laughs> it's great, great horn out of optics there. <laughs> that's where, that's where Real Deal takes that position as well, and obviously Fireball got around when Slaunch hit the wheelie as well. Um, So now let's go back up on Luke's perspective so we can see both of them. So this is coming to two to go and you can see the big run here and this is the inside send maybe for the win but not able to get the run and this is coming to two to go and the lap traffic in front of him, this is absolutely mixed up the race and you gotta go for it at this point and Detail gets a bog right there that slows them both down and they're trying to get through the chicane. They're both trying to do it cleanly and then Real Deal's slamming in because he's trying to keep his position behind him. This is white flag now. And then just look at this, like, super slow with the lap traffic. Real Deal's trying to compete around it. Because he's, again, he's fighting for his own position, too. Luke in detail, maybe the only part of the race where Luke led was, like, right here. <laughs> maybe the only part of the race where detail is technically not in the lead for a moment was right there for just a, for literally, like, a millisecond in the, in the last chicane. But then he gets back out in front. And look at this, Soul holding his inside... And this gets into the inside of Hunter, and I, I honestly, I think Detail probably would have got it in this situation with the way they were lined up anyways, but that certainly slows him, slows him down. Luke, wrong place, right, uh, wrong time. Detail in the perfect position in that situation. Rare case where you want to be on the outside. And it works out for him there. And holds on to the win. But look at this. For, for this small of a battle track, and for that long of a race, for that to be the finish... That's crazy. That's crazy. And then, um, Fireball got a pretty big gap, uh, after missing that incident. So here's Fireball. Takes his podium position there. And then we go over here. Uh, you can see Real Deal got a decent gap. Slaunch maybe with another send there. I'm not sure. He's able to hold off Opix at the line. Oh, Opix had to go another lap anyways, but... But sure. Checkpoint reached. But yeah, so that's the the quick replay through it. Had to do it because I mean the end of that. There, there's a lot going on there, and some drivers multiple laps down. There, there's a lot going on. Um. So yeah, crazy race already. I mean, some of those Hogtona motos were pretty nutty too. But already, in my opinion, a runner, uh, for like one of the craziest or best races in the season, and we're freaking two weeks in. So that's I would I would definitely throw this one in there because spectator wise, this was pretty nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed it one more time. Uh, congrats to Detail on the win. And Luke and Fireball for taking their podium positions as well. Real Deal and Slaunch rounding out the field. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we have one more race in the night for this Reach GP night. Decided to spice it up, go for two tracks. And the next one is, I mentioned it earlier, uh, Rolled Oak GP, which Detail specifically made for... Um, this series, so we're gonna roll on over to that one.